This is a demo on how to use a client with Requesty. So once you sign up for Requesty, what you'll see is this onboarding screen and you just click on client. Um, what happens now, it's a configuration for client. So if you go to client itself, um, you can go to this settings button and then you see API provider. You just have to choose Requesty. Now, very important, you need to create an API key here. What you'll see here also is a list of all of the models that we support. Um, if you can create API key here, we can do client test, for example, um, and we're going to copy this API key. Don't worry, I'm going to delete my API key later, but we can just copy and paste it here and we are done. Now, what's really interesting is that we can use any model that uh, request C provides to client. Uh, it will always work, basically. So what you want to do here is, for example, for this test, we're going to say, write a snake game in Python in just one file. Now, we're gonna let uh, Claude do his magic and hopefully write a beautiful snake game. You can see it's already working. Now, when we go back here, we have two options, uh, C models or manage API keys. If we're gonna see models, we can see the full list of models that we support. It's about 153 models right now. So you can see GPT-40, DeepC, Cloud 3.7, all these things. You can search, you can see by provider, by category, by price range, uh, all of those handy things. What we also added is use of stats. So we look at our own users and see how they use um, the different models. So you can see uh, front end is about Cloud Sonnet, but back end a lot of deep seek reasoners. So that's really interesting to see which model should I use for which type of work. Now, if we go back, um, we can see, uh, oh, it has approved one API request. We can see we're about um, 12,000 tokens in. Uh, you can also see the caching. Uh, and how much of the, win, uh, the context window we've basically used. Uh, now you can see it's continuing doing the snake game. So let's just let it continue doing things. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna show you some of the cool features we've added. So you can see we've already spent seven cents uh, on the client test. Um, we have two options in the manage API. The first one is add a policy. What we wanna do here is basically a fallback strategy. What is a fallback strategy? When a certain provider or model fails, we want to make sure that we still have a successful request so you're not stuck coding. So for example, we know that DeepSeek has been a bit unreliable for these weeks. You can add this as a first model because it's the cheapest. But we have a very good second option with Nepius. So we can add it as a second one. And we just put in DeepSeek R1 here. So basically what's going to happen if we don't get a response from DeepSeek itself, we will directly go to DeepSeek after. Um, and you can create the policy. And now you see the policy here and you can just copy the policy. And when you go back, when you go back here, um, you can just copy and paste that policy here and it will use that fallback mechanism. Uh, now you can see done. We have about you know 30K tokens uh, in total. Um, would you like to auto approve? Auto approve, I think I've only done auto approve once. But very interesting, the first one was 12.8K, which is uh, very important to notice. Another thing we've added is features. What is features? Um, we add a bunch of different things, such as cache optimizations, but we also want you to control your features. So if you don't use MCPs, you can directly um, uh, put it in here that you, we won't use the MCP part of the prompt. And we also have an optimized system tokens. What does this mean? Is that requesty itself will look at the system prompt that's coming in from for client, and we will adapt it uh, to actually optimize it further. So if I go back to client and take my original one, um, we can go and start a new chat. I'm just gonna delete the snake game. So it's not gonna try to uh, open that again. And we have the two features enabled. So let's see if we can optimize. Um, so the first one I think was 12,800 tokens. Um, and let's see what happens now. It is writing the snake game, so that's really good. And uh, when I mean the 12,800 tokens, it's input tokens. So it really looks at how much goes into the, the model itself. Um, and hopefully with these optimizations, what we can see now, it's 8.8K. So that's a big difference between the first.